Hey guys, Matt Redwood Sports and Collectibles back again with a, I guess, educational video. Um, I wanted to make a video on how to ship cards singly and quantities. Um, mostly this appeals to anybody that ships cards, especially eBay people. Um, I've gotten stuff in the mail before, um, you know, unsleeved, mangled, messed up, and of course that hurts your feedback. Um, but this is one of the items that everybody that sells, trades, uh, ships, cards should have. These are just your penny standard uh, 100 count sleeves. And also the simple team bag. They do make them a little bigger too. 100 of those. Inexpensive, but makes all the difference in the world when you're sending cards to people. And people are looking to get some of the cards graded. Um, let me start by a single card. So let's say... Uh, I'm an eBay seller, um, and I sold one of my cards, um, and it was a single card. Um, something where what I always do, and what I recommend, obviously, to have it in a soft sleeve first. Penny sleeve. Slide it into a top loader. And the mistake that most people make is they end up using the scotch tape, which, of course, is hard to peel. Um... You know, you can never use the top loader again. So what I recommend, and everybody here and all the YouTube community knows to use, is the blue painter's tape. Um, unfortunately, I don't think they have this at Dollar Tree. You might have to go to Walmart. But just a simple piece of painter's tape will secure the top so the card does not slide out. So that's obviously simple enough to do, part one. Then, would also, you can either have these dummy hard cardboard things that you can place in front and back or if you have cut pieces of cardboard already like this you can just cut a piece of cardboard um, the idea is to protect the card from getting bent so obviously after putting that there then you can go ahead and use your scotch tape if you want but I would still recommend the painters tape so this is for the one single card so you can go ahead and Tape that there, tape it there, and tape it there. This way it's protected. It's not going to slide out the top. It's not going to obviously slide out the bottom. It's not going to get bent. Also, um, I would recommend not sending it in a white envelope, obviously because there's no, no way it can be protected. A simple bubble mailer. Uh, these, I think, are two for a dollar at Dollar Tree. Um, you can also get smaller ones on eBay for a better price shipped. Um, and the other thing I do is, even though it's protected here, I still will take a couple pieces of cardboard, front and back, just to make sure it's protected. And then I can use clear tape or whatever to secure that. Let me just do my clear tape and I use a little bit better brand that's easy start is a little bit heavier duty um, and when you're mailing boxes the tape does not come off it stays sealed so that's that into the envelope and of course you seal it sometimes I'll put a piece of tape just to reinforce mail it out now, real quick, another thing that I've come across is when I buy quantity of cards, and I know some of the other YouTubers run into this problem as well, and say I buy a lot, for instance, um, here's like a Barry Sanders rookie lot, there's like five or six here, um, people need to understand that when you're buying such cheap cards, you're looking for them to get graded nine times out of ten, so you want to make sure when you ship somebody a single card, quantity of cards, always take the time to put that one penny sleeve into the quantity that way each card does not rub against another card and get scratched etc etc so that extra step takes just a few seconds um also i these penny sleeves you can buy just about toys r us just about anywhere i also have them on my ebay store uh brentwood sports and collectibles so there's really no excuse to not use these every time you send any kind of card out because you never know if somebody's looking to get cards graded or not um same thing with these um might recommend putting them in a team bag and you can put the cardboard on the front and the back And then the team bag itself has a scotch tape at the top that will actually seal them 
from coming out so you don't have to put the painters tape on every single one so that's when you're doing a lot I would still recommend the front and back cardboard and of course the bubble mailer that's that's the big thing bubble mailers make all the difference because it's already padded they're inexpensive simple to use um, another thing sometimes I'll throw in a few extra dummy cards front and back anything to protect that lot that's in there because that's what your feedback is based on how well you ship it um, etc so um, also the team bags I have for sale on the uh, eBay store and like I said, also the penny sleeves. They're also, for the graded cards, they have bigger sleeves, which you can put more quantity of items when you're sending, you know, uh, care packages, etc. The more or less your uh, filler cards, stuff that's not as expensive. But just that key thing, my point to get across is, as I buy a lot of lots too, is I want each card to have a sleeve. Um, it's just something simple. I've seen people do videos about this before. It's just something where it becomes a problem. You know, eBay is a service and you provide a service to somebody, so you should take it amongst, you know, you should take it as serious. Hey, look, I want to make sure I get them the card in the condition that they paid for. So, anyway, that's the video for today, guys. I uh, just wanted to get that out there and let everybody know, hey, it's simple to ship stuff. Um, keep your feedback up. Um, and any questions or comments, feel free to like, subscribe below, um, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks.